This video gives an overview of X-Trace and how you can use it. What is X-Trace? X-Trace is an XPS config option that captures XPS errors in Policy Store. This option is available from CA Site Minder Release 12.51. When to use X-Trace? Use X-Trace to diagnose few failed XPS transactions in Policy Store. Use the logs to identify when and why an XPS error occurred in Policy Store. Considerations to use X-Trace Enabling X-Trace impacts the performance of CA Site Minder because it logs the XPS transactions of Policy Store. You can enable the most commonly used options of X-Trace for tracing various Site Minder components. For example, to trace XPS transactions, enable the option 2. To trace Federation transactions, enable the option 58. To gather audit logs, enable the option 1. The following XPS audit files are created in the SiteMinder installation path, CA, SiteMinder, audit folder. When you enable few options, the other related options are also enabled by default, for example. Enabling the option 2 enables the other XPS related options such as 3, 5. 6, 7, 9, 16 through 21, 25, 27, 29, 31, 34 through 37, 39 through 50, 56, and 57. Enabling the option 58 enables the other Federation related options such as 58, 59, 63, and 64. Now, let us enable X Trace. Perform the following steps to enable X Trace. First, ensure that profiling is enabled in Policy Server Management Console. Then, enable the Xtrace option in XPS Config. Let's see how to ensure that profiling is enabled. Open Policy Server Management Console. Click the Profiler tab. Ensure that the Enable Profiling option is selected and an output file is specified in the Output section. Click Configure Settings. Move the components whose transactions you want to monitor into selected components. Click Data. For a better tracing, it is a good practice to select the date, precise time, PID, TID, SRC file, function, and message data fields. Click Apply. Click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. Now, let us enable X-Trace. Navigate to the bin folder in the console mode. Type XPS config and press enter. All the options of XPS config are listed. X denotes X-Trace. Type X and press enter. All the attributes of X-Trace are listed. As an example, let us enable the option 2 to trace the XPS transactions. When you enable the XPS attribute, by default it enables the other XPS related attributes that are required for debugging. To enable the XPS attribute, type 2, its code, and press enter. You can see that besides the XPS attribute, the other XPS attributes such as security, config, STS are also selected. Synchronize the changes with Policy Server, if running, to get the transaction logs. Further, use the Update option to preserve settings between Policy Server restarts. Xtrace is enabled and the XPS Policy Store transactions and audit files are logged. Use the Xtrace logs to analyze and debug the XPS errors. If you need further assistance in analyzing and debugging the logs, Contact CA Support. You have learned how to use X-Trace.